Bro, like, I swear I just came up with the solution. Bro, like, I'm telling you, man. Like, this is the solution. Bro, like, I'm about to post this on Twitter and, like... Like, bro, if I was able to just tell an Epic employee what they need to change to make, like, the community happy since I'm so in touch, like, I would be there to do it. Like, I would help. All right, so let's see. What if I had a cone crouch? It's the same. Okay, I look in the middle. Let's see. I'm gonna spray my AR. Okay. Okay. That's on controller. Now this is mouse and keyboard. Did you see the difference? We're still hitting like the roof. Like we hit the roof and controller it doesn't doesn't hit the roof like you see so it's obviously still different right um so all the like all they need to do is just make it so that we either have controller or controller has ours right like that's all they need to do that okay there you go aim and then maybe like debuff just just make aim assist a little bit less on controller man that's all people are asking for that like People just don't want to be ran into their box with an SMG and get 200 to zero. Like, no one thinks that's fair. And if that were to happen to anyone, people would get upset, right? Like, no one thinks that's how the game should be, right? Okay, so... You do that, and then... For reset, you either add a single button reset for controller, or if they don't want scroll wheel in the game whatsoever, single, or like... Fast reset, then just take scroll wheel reset away for us. Like... There you go. So many people are happy. Like, so many people are happy. Like, chat, are you guys telling me if you didn't just sit in PG, like, you couldn't just get cracked on controller? Like, I don't know. Like, what if I sat on this for, like, a week in PG and I just always worked on my editing, my mechanics? Like, I'd be cracked, right? Like... I can see how resetting can be, like... Well, at times. I don't know. I feel like if you grind PG, though, and work on your mechanics, it should not be hard. Like, you get your bind set, you know? I guess... I don't know. All your buttons are right here. Like, your buttons are... All right here. Like... You're so close to them. I feel like it's, like, a lot easier. Like, for people that aren't pro players, which is the majority of people, like... I see why... Aim is just, I guess, is there, but I just feel like it's obnoxious at sometimes. Like, I feel like I shouldn't just die to someone just running in my box. And that's the only reason why so many like pros complain about it, I guess, because it's just annoying feeling to have someone that's you, like you obviously know isn't as good just run into your box and kill you. Cause they out aim you or something. Like, why the majority of people complain? Because you're a pro, you kind of have to deal with it. I mean, I guess you have to deal with it, but it's also we experience it the most because we play the most. So it's like... I don't know. It's just annoying, man. Like, It's almost like... It's almost like getting heavy sniped in a way sometimes. Like, you just can't react to it. Like, what are you supposed to do? That's why it annoys people. Like, what if... Okay, what if on controller, they literally just did this? What if they made it so in competitive, right? Aim assist strength is just lowered to like 75 or something. Like, would that be that big of a difference? Like, I feel like... I feel like that would just help it. Like, you don't need to change anything. Just lower the aim assist strength. It's like, that it takes more skill to, like, you have to control your aim more. Like, I think it would help it for sure. No mouse and keyboard players run SMGs. And, like, the fact that controller players can also just drop their shotgun, like, that's just... That's stupid to me. Like, Epic Whale and, uh, Rex, they free up a slot every game off spawn in finals. Because they just drop... Or, Epic Whale just drops his shotgun. So, they're running AR SMG. AR drum gun, pretty much. Like... And the movement, like, also is insane. So, it's like, that's already a plus. Like... Like, movement is so nice. 
Controller movement is so good, bro. Like, I think that's why I enjoy playing controllers so much. Like, the movement just feels insane, man. Like, I feel so good on it. Now, what about this? What if mouse and keyboard got the same recoil as controller? Right? Because it's obviously still different. Like, controller still has way better recoil. They've done, like, tests on that. Took out scroll wheel reset. Because, like, to be completely honest with you, bro, like... I'm not a player that relies on scroll wheel reset, so it's like I don't care, but like maybe the majority of PC players that didn't play without it, like maybe that would be really hard for them because you have to be mechanically good for that then. Or you have to make it a habit also. I actually don't get why there's different recoil. I don't either, to be honest. Like I don't know. Like guess don't get me wrong, I think controller needs aim assist, right? Like I think they need it, obviously. But it's like, it's way too powerful as it is right now. Like, they need to make it a lot less. People were cracked before scroll wheel reset. I mean, that was also like a less mechanical period of time. Like, I don't know. Mechanics definitely improved because of scroll wheel reset. But if they don't want it in the game, they just take it away for both people. And also, controller does have a single button reset. Apparently, there's some macro or some shit you can do. Like, Sway knows about it, I think. But... It's so easy to make this, like, the debate or, like, the argument balance. Like, it's so easy, man. What about zero recoil on every platform? Bro, they just need to make recoil the same, bro. And people will stop complaining about that part. Take out scroll wheel reset for both or add it for both. That's all you need to do. Just make things be the same, bro. It's so easy, man. Like, you can make so many people happy by doing the smallest changes, bro. Like, bro, if I was able to just tell an Epic employee what they need to change to make, like, the community happy, since I'm so in touch, like, I would be there to do it. Like, I would help. Like, think about it. You just made both sides happy. But, like, at the same time, you took something away from both. Is Rico even hard to control? Well, I mean, if he's like, hold on, I'm in game. It's, the thing is, it's not that hard to control. It's just, like, when you're trying to line up shots and shit when people are jumping, it's, like, I don't know, it's annoying. It comes in the way. Those changes could realistically happen next week. I don't know. Like, I feel like everyone would be happy there. Controller players are happy. Scroll wheel resets taken away. But they're also a little bit upset that the aim assist is buffed down or debuffed a little. Um, And then control or mouse and keyboard players are happy because we have the same recoil as controller players. But we're a little bit upset because we get scroll wheel taken away, right? Like, I just want to make every side equal. Like, at this point, it's kind of... I don't know, I'll complain about it in-game, but, like, truthfully, like, I'm just speaking now, like, how I feel about it. Like, what would, like... What would the issue with lowering aim assist... So, mouse and keyboard... Or, so, controller players need to do more for the aim, right? Doing that. Taking away scroll wheel reset on mouse and keyboard. But then... Making the recoil on mouse and keyboard the same as controllers like what what's where's the argument like what where are people gonna complain bro i swear i've discovered it like what's the argument mouse and keyboard players would you guys be happy if aim assist was toned down a tiny bit and we had the same recoil as controller. Obviously not toned down to the point where it's like they can't aim anymore, but like, yes. Okay. And then controller players, would you be happy if they took away scroll wheel reset and bro, like I swear I just came up with the solution. Bro, like, I'm telling you, man. Like, this is the solution. Bro, like, I'm about to post this on Twitter and, like... Like, I, I don't know. I don't care about controller aim assist. I know controller needs it. Like, I don't care. I know. But it's, like, just tone it down a little bit, man. To the point where it's just... You can't end a fight in half a second because you just jump in. Like, please, please, please. I'd be... I'd be, like, everyone... What can you complain about? Epic won't listen? Bro, if the entire community hops on top of it and everyone is just vouching it, I mean, maybe. I'm just trying to see where the argument would come in. Like, 
Would controller players complain that they can't aim? Like, if you're complaining you can't aim, like, why don't you just practice your aim more? Like, I don't know. You're still going to be able to aim. You're going to have aim assist. It's still going to be there. It's just... Maybe 50% aim assist strength. Like, that's what I'm trying to show. Like... Yeah, like, there's also a skill gap, man. Like, not everyone's supposed to be good at the game. Like, if you want to be good at the game, you're supposed to grind it, man. That's why people complain when they see super bad players just killing them. Because they just jump in their box. Like, n bro, no one thinks that should happen. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys.